I've recently just picked up a 2023 model DRZ400E. They only do the E models in Australia now, uh, not the S or the SMs anymore. One of the things that annoyed me, um, I'm only on my second fuel tank fill. The first fill uh, on mains only, when I ran out, only took five litres. Second fill, uh, when I just ran, ran out of mains, seven litres. This was a little bit weird uh, for me, considering they're a 10 litre tank. Um, but in saying that, uh, I went on to went online to the Suzuki website, noticed that uh, fuel tank capacity is seven liters, and open up the owner's manual. Fuel tank capacity seven liters. So jumped online, tried to figure out what the go is because I had a 2014 SM. It was a 10 liter tank, mate's E model, 10 liter tank. Everybody else is in the fucking world, 10 liter tank. So it just must be the new ones. So I jumped online, throwing a whole heap of search terms at it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I could not find an answer relating to it at all. So then I asked the questions. Um, one on Facebook, one on Thumper Talk. Uh, then I found out this little golden nugget due to emission regulations and whatnot. Uh, it might be pretty hard to see. Um, But in here, there is a black sleeve. I haven't got a torch with me, so um, there is a black sleeve. Being yellow tank, should be yellow in there. This is going to be tricky to get out with one hand, so. Oh, I'll get in there. There we go. This extends out, but in saying that, it's still fully black in there, so. Um, I might grab some rags and shit and put you on a tripod because apparently there is a sleeve that runs all the way down in here that stops you from filling right up. So let me just put you on a tripod and I'll grab some rags so I don't spill fucking fuel all over this thing because it's literally a full tank or just about. I'll just place some rags around it as well as chuck you guys on a tripod. But if we just start pulling ever so slowly. That's what was sitting in there. So that piece there, it just pulls out that little bit. Turns out I was pulling it out a little bit just to fill up. So um, that's why I couldn't see down inside my fuel tank because look at the fucking size of this thing. Um, that was what was in there. So let's just chuck that aside. Ooh, the storm's coming in. I better get a rig on if I'm going in town on this. Uh, let's get this jobby out. I oh, still haven't got a torch here, but holy shit, mate, you can actually see into a yellow tank. So, um, that'll be the reason why it's only 7 litres. Because of that big bastard. Good stuff. Um, so, I'm going to hopefully put up a lot of tags, so to speak, for this video. Um, and that way... People will be able to find it and actually see it happen. I've only seen a photo of that. I don't even know if there's a part number for it, but I'll try and make reference to that as well. And uh, there you go, 20, 2022 models. This is a 2023. Uh, 2022 models and above will have that in the fuel tank and no toolkit uh, for emissions and enduro, whatever the hell, just so they can sell this thing in Australia. So, so there you go, guys. Short and sweet. Um, might do a video up on all the mods on this bike. I, uh, as I said, I just bought it. It sat in the shed for a month while I built it up with motard rims and other bits and pieces. So I'm slowly building this bike bike up to its uh, to my 2020. Uh, I keep saying that 2014 model SM that I used to have, but um, I'm going that one step further now that I've uh, got a better platform to play with.